Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how I got this bronzy duochrome makeup look that was inspired by, by Brooke L on Instagram. All right, so I'm gonna start off by priming the high points of my face with the Illuminating Primer by Tom Ford. I just want these areas to be really, really dewy. So the tops of my cheekbones, my temples, um, and I hit my chin too. And I'm going in with the Morphe G40 brush to do this. I had a couple really bad blemishes, so I'm going in with the amazing Color Correcting Concealer just to tone down that redness a little bit. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is in the shade 128. And I'm gonna pick this up on my sponge and start pouncing this into the skin, starting with my cheeks and working upward, not putting down way too much product. So I'm starting on one zone of the face and then moving into the next zone and dispersing as much product as I possibly can before picking more up because I don't wanna go in with way too much. For concealer, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Light Neutral. You guys have seen this a million times, it's my favorite. And I'm just going to be highlighting the areas that I want to either highlight or conceal. So any areas of my face that I get a little bit of darkness or that I want to bring forward. I did my brows off camera, and now I'm going to be going in with the cream contour shade from the Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow palette. And I'm applying this with my Morphe G4 brush. This is like a fluffy angled foundation brush, and I'm gonna be patting this into my skin so that I'm not removing my foundation. The shape of this brush makes contouring your cheekbones so incredibly easy, and it just makes the bronze look really, really natural. And I'm gonna go over that quickly with my sponge just to make sure everything is blended. I'm gonna set my eyes with the Kat Von D Locket setting powder and then I'm going to bring this into my T-zone and along my laugh lines, just anywhere that I don't want creasing. I'm gonna prime my lids for shadow with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I think I used Light Neutral again, and I'm just blending this out with my Dose of Colors Concealer Brush, and then I'm going to set with a tiny amount of the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder. I'm starting off eyes with the Rooftop Bronzes City Mini Palette. I'm picking up this Caramely Bronze shade on a BH Cosmetics number eight blending brush, and I'm just gonna start working this into the outer corner, basically starting in the outer corner of the crease and then blending it out. So this is basically gonna act as our transition shade. And then I'm picking up this darker brown and just building up that outer corner. I'm gonna take that lighter caramel shade onto the lower lash line and I'm using the same brush because I want this to be smoked. This is going to be smoky. And then I'm going back in with that darker brown. I'm basically gonna be going back and forth with these two shades to build up the contrast and smoke it out slowly. Now I'm grabbing this pencil brush by Morphe and I'm gonna be working this in the very inner corner of the lower lash line. I don't wanna smoke it onto my dark circles and make those look crazy intense. So I'm trying to focus this a little bit closer to my lash line. Now I'm going in with the darkest brown in the palette and I'm going to be building up the outer corner of the lower lash line using my City Color CCB 103 brush, favorite brush, I talk about this all the time. And then I'm gonna start working it on the very outer corner of the lid. So I'm gonna be packing it onto the lid and then blending it up into the crease.
for the inner part of the lid, I'm gonna be grabbing this really gorgeous champagne shade. It's like this really stunning glittery foil. And I'm packing this on with my City Color CCB 103 brush and then just gently blending it into that dark brown. I contoured my nose off camera and now I'm picking up a little bit of the Kevin Aquan Medium Sculpting Powder. This is actually a wet and wild highlighting brush, but I've been using it to contour and I love it. And I'm just gonna kick out those cheekbones a little bit more. All right, now I'm grabbing the Urban Jungle palette and I'm gonna go in with this really dark green shade and I'm gonna use this to deepen up the very outer corner. So I know that I wanted to use a green shift highlighter. So I'm using this shade to bring a little bit of that green into the eye look. It's not going to be extremely obvious, but it is going to make the overall look more cohesive. I wanted to intensify the champagne shade on the lid, so I'm picking up a little bit more and I'm spritzing it with some Fix Plus and then going back over top. I'm gonna be using the new Becca Light Chaser Highlighter. This is in the shade Topaz Flashes Gilt. And I'm gonna pick this up on a little flat brush and then place this underneath my eyebrow. And I'm really going to build it up because I wanted this, I mean, come on, look at this highlight. I wanted this to be intense, like this is the whole look. I'm picking that highlighter up on a small blending brush and then working it into the inner corner. I wanted to make sure that everything about this was really smoky and blown out. I'm going in with this blush by Hourglass. I don't know what it's called, but it'll be listed down below. And I'm applying that with my Marc Jacobs blush brush. To up the hue of the highlighter a little bit, I'm grabbing this shimmery white shade from the Urban Jungle palette and going back over top of that and then using this shade in the center of my face. So I'm mixing it with the Light Chaser highlight so it's not just like straight up green on my nose. And to apply this to the rest of my face, I'm using my Morphe Y14 brush. I get so many questions about this brush. It is the most incredible highlighter brush in the entire world. I highly recommend it and it's just pretty. For mascara, I'm going in with a couple coats of the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. And then I'm gonna pop on the Lily Lashes. This is the collaboration with Makeup by Samuel. For my lips, I'm gonna start off by lining them with MAC Stone Lip Liner. So I'm basically going to be using this to overline my lips and define them. And I'm going to be feathering this in, but I'm not gonna fill in the entire lip and it's gonna look totally crazy, but you have to trust me, it's gonna look cool in the end. Then to finish them off, I'm going in with the new Becca Liquid Crystal Lip Topper. This is in the shade Opal and Jade. And I'm gonna apply this all over my lips. And then I'm gonna use the applicator to blend it into the lip liner so it doesn't just look like I lined my lips and then put on some gloss. <laughs> you know I had to take this highlighter everywhere else, so I'm just gonna go in and hit my collarbones and my shoulders, and you should see this shoulder highlight, hold on. Oh my God, are you seeing this? Damn. I look like mint chocolate chip ice cream. I could go for some Thin Mints. All right, and to finish the look, I'm going in with a little MAC Fix Plus. 
All right, guys, that is it for this look. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. All of that will be listed down below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments down below. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Thank you.